Often called floating cities, cruise ships have become massive, not just in sheer size, but also in cost of construction. For instance, one of the largest cruise ships in the world cost $1.5 billion to build, making it as expensive as the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the world's largest skyscraper. The usual production time for such cruise ship is usually within one year. So how do you go from this to this in just 11 months? So who builds cruise ships? None of the major cruise lines employ their own in-house shipbuilders to design and develop their fleet, largely due to the incredibly cost of the equipment as well as the knowledge and expertise required. Instead, there are a number of specialist shipbuilders which are responsible for piecing the mega ships together. Meyerwerf from Germany, STX Europe and Financieri from Italy are three of the major shipbuilders responsible for the majority of the world's biggest cruise ships. These shipbuilders, also known as shipwrights, operate massive shipyards in coastal and riverside towns constructing multi-million pound ships from the sea up before they are ready to set sail. So how long does it take to build a cruise ship? Generally speaking, it depends on the size of the ship and the cruise line, but the time frame of about 1 year to 11 months is the usual length it takes, from laying the keel to the final delivery. Modern technology such as computer-aided design and modular cabins has helped to speed up the process. Though designing the ship itself tends to add another year to the whole operation. Where are cruise ships built? It might surprise you to know that there are only 4 shipyards in operation today with the capability to build cruise ships. Pincantieri, based in Italy, delivered its first cruise ship back in 1990 and is currently the largest shipbuilder in Europe. Family owned and based in Germany, Meyer Werft started building cruise ships in the mid 1980 their shipyard is in a somewhat unique location, since it has no actual direct access to the ocean. All ships must be transferred via a river to the North Sea. Lastly, STX Europe, despite the name, is based in South Korea and was the yard responsible for building Royal Caribbean's oasis and allure of the seas. What materials are cruise ships made from? Lightweight metals such as aluminium and high strength steel are used in order to keep the center of mass low despite their size. The heaviest components, things like engines, propellers and fuel tanks are located in the lower parts of the ship and despite the top heavy appearance, weight is evenly distributed to ensure stability. The use of Lightweight materials not only helps to reduce fuel consumption and emissions, they are more than ready for the perform in the at times challenging environment of the sea. Fiber reinforced plastics and carbon fiber, frequently used in the aerospace industry, are being considered too, since they could theoretically lessen the mass and bring down the center of gravity by reducing weight above the water line. Flat pack cabins. If you are ever stuck anything in the inside wall of your cabin using a magnet, 
you'll know that the cruise ship cabins are magnetized. This is not just a handy feature to help guests increase their storage and organize their belongings. The magnetism is central to how cruise ships are constructed. For the vast majority of cruise ships, all of their cabins are built separately from the rest of the vessel. On a construction line akin to a car factory, every aspect of the cabin is added in the factory, including the plumbing and fitted furniture. These cabins are then transported to the shipyard, where they are slotted into the vessel using the magnetic force. Towering structure with some mega liners reaching close to 500 feet in total height, including the hidden below water section, which is roughly equal to the section above the ocean surface, putting any cruise ship together is a masterpiece of structural engineering. The hull of the ship is the first part built, constructed on the dry land, creating a base for the vessel. Ground crews and massive cranes combine to build the hull, ensuring the structure is watertight before placing the superstructure atop the hull. Many parts of the superstructure are remotely built in smaller blocks, then placed upon the hull akin to an enormous Lego construction. Water tests Shipyards traditionally include water control systems, which allow work crews to build the ship both in and out of the water. This can simultaneously test the constructed hull for watertight structure and allow the engineers to work on the underwater sections of the ship. Using man-made dam systems, the shipyards can allow the team to fill and empty the construction site as the when they choose. Finishing touches helping create a sense of escapism and total luxury. All the major cruise lines bedeck their vessels with the finest flourishes and decor that money can buy. Employing the help of top artists and interior designers, the cruise lines ensure that their ships resemble high-end resorts rather than modes of transportation. From Britannia's 1 million pound art collection to Norwegian Cruise Line's massive instantly recognizable hull designs. Cruise lines are constantly looking for ways to help their newest vessels stand out from the crowd.